so hi. Welcome to uh, day 10 or 11. Who knows, because I screwed up my, uh, my dating and all that, but could be worse. Uh, I know a large part of my problem, I'm sure, is due to lack of sleep. And a big part of that is due to, uh, sorry, uh, my son and his medical condition. Um, now my wife says, you know, oh, you turned off Tom Petty. Yeah. Nazi. <laughs> um, you know, I have closed, uh, I gotta stop saying, you know, closed circuit cameras in the house. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and then, kids' room, I've got one pointed right where Joe sleeps. So I can watch and hear um, should he have another seizure. Um, you know, every time he moves, every time I hear something, I'm um, right away watching. I've got an old laptop that I resurrected, thank you God, <laughs> to use as a monitor. And I connect the sound to my um, Google Home Mini. So it's amplified. I'm going to hear it. It's you know, not going to go uh, unnoticed. So, excuse me as I multitask here. Um, anytime I see motion out of the corner of my eye, which is quite often now, because like, I'm seeing shit again. Um, but that's a whole nother bag of cookies that, uh, we're not going to get into right now. That's for another, uh, another miniseries subject, I guess. Paranormal activity. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, she's, she's right when she says, listen, you know, we're awake for it. Great. We can be in there. We can help him. We can do whatever. But, you know, there's nothing you can really do but sit there and and watch. Um, you know, once it starts, it's not like you can cut it short. You can't stop it. You have to let it run its course. You have to let it do what it's going to do, like it or not. I don't like it, but here's my thing, is, uh, you know, what if the one that we miss is the one that is, uh, you know, it goes longer than three minutes. Those are the ones that we need to be there for to administer his emergency medication, <coughs> excuse me, to, um, to stop the seizure. Now I understand, and I'm one of the first people to, uh, woo, tag on. Just checking on my friend, Kiefer Sutherland. Um, I kind of forget where I was going with that, but yeah. So, you know, I don't, I'm afraid of missing, you know, the big one, so to speak. Come on, focus, camera. You are a pain, pain in my nuts. So that has a lot to do. Um, and if anybody happens to be watching and they're, you know, that's you know, maybe they, maybe you don't know, but uh, ample sleep is key in 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 maintaining a decent mental health, decent mental state of being, state of mind. So, uh, yeah, and ample sleep does aid somewhat in uh, the relief of uh, certain pains. Um, some pain is set in because we don't have enough sleep, because our body is going, Ugh! and it's trying to tell us in some form or another that it needs something, but we don't want to listen because, you know, hey, I can't sleep. I need to go work. I need to get this overtime, or I need to stay awake to drive wherever it is we're going or coming from. 
Uh, now, for a person like myself, uh, I was always a night owl, but then I started working nights, and then I started working for about six years, working a third shift job. You know, and then you throw on top of that the chronic pain, the dystonia, mental illness, <coughs> excuse me, depression, which I feel was uh, possibly exa- uh, accelerated by working the third shift job uh, for so long. Uh, a friend of mine tried telling me, a um, friend of my mother's who, who watched me grow up, whose son is now styling hair for the stars out there in L.A., chilling with the daughter of V. Dallas as soon. And what's that phony-ass bar- boxer's name? Um... May, May, Mary, Mary Child, Maywe- Mayweather, yeah, hangs out with Mayweather too, Mayweather's a bitch, but anyway, uh, she had experienced something like, you know, a breakdown after a year of working a third shift, uh, and I had worked second shift for a while, and it didn't bother me, I, especially when I had the friends I had at that time, we were all night owls, we get done work at 11 o'clock, and we go do whatever we were doing, like it was everybody else going out after work, you know, a nine to five job, you know. So, uh, didn't help much either that uh, had to get up early after being up late and uh, go to my son's first game, well, his game today, and he didn't play at all. Whole team played, but him. And the one kid who showed up at halftime. So, he should have said something, but he didn't say anything. But, you know, the boy's got character. So, well, before I hit some dead air, I'm just going to, uh, I guess, shut up there. Take care of your body. Listen to it as often as possible. Sometimes, it's not worth pushing yourself to get into work. If you have to push yourself past your health or past where you should have passed for money... Police yourself. And if you can't feed them, don't breed them. Hi. Uh, 9.30. Saturday evening. Wow. Now things just took a dive. I realize it's 9.30 Saturday evening. Which means tomorrow's Sunday. Which means the day after that is Monday. And back to work. I seriously don't think it's fair that... You know, five on and two off. Come on now. Really? Yeah. And then you have places that say, well, oh, you could do four tens. Like, okay, I'm off three days, but I'm still working 40 hours. You know, I'm there 10 hours a day. And, you know, how about we work four days, eight hours, pay us for 40 hours a week, even though we've only worked 32, and we have off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You would see a lot of people coming into work Tuesday or Monday, whatever it's set up as, all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. When I was uh, working concrete, excuse me, that was not concrete. It was. That was mud. Yeah. Oh, Lord, it's the mud butts. Um... We decided to, to do that. We got a hold of the foreman and said, well, we'll do four tens. Uh, not to mention, those guys love to go fishing, so uh, you know, we'd work Monday through Thursday, and they'd cash their checks Friday morning, or actually Thursday afternoon after work, uh, at lunch, and go get the beer and bait, and then we finish work Thursday, and they'd all go out fishing on Friday, and I went chilled on my back deck. That's right. 19 years old, had a place with a deck on the bay. It's owned by my stepfather, and I was paying for it, but still, hey. Uh, anyhow, I just talked to my kid, and she's doing well, and she looks great. She looks healthy. Looks like she lost a few biscuits. Well, that's good. Um, keeping her spirits up, and keeping her grades, and keeping her work habits going. Trying to get through to her head that... I texted her the other day, and she said, sorry, I just woke up from a nap. I'm like, nap? Nap? 
you know, rich and famous people didn't catch a nap to get, before they became rich and famous. You know, success doesn't take a nap. Success doesn't stop. Success doesn't take a day off. You know, and you want to be rich and famous. There are no naps. There's no breaks. Push 24-7. Do it now at 18. And the 20-something. That way, maybe in your 30-something. That way, when you hit 40-something, you're not going to be on the same boat as I am. And many others are. Thank you. So, overall, a pretty decent day. Pain-wise, well, that's a whole other can of beans. I'm trying to think of something that doesn't come in cans, but worms come in cans, snakes, sneakers come in cans. So, yeah. Rambling!